If you are excited for the Kalen DeBoer era here at Alabama, then like the video right now. We're about to break down all the chaos going on right now around the Crimson Tide transfer portal coaching stuff as well. If you are excited about the future with Nick Saban now gone, Kalen DeBoer in, then like the video right now. As I'm sure all of you know, uh, it'd be weird if you didn't know. Also meant you're not subscribed because we talked about it a lot already. Alabama has hired Kalen DeBoer to replace Nick Saban. Uh, allegedly, or at least not allegedly, Greg Burns said. He met with him first on Thursday, which the implication there being, ah, he was the first candidate, not so much Dan Lanning. It is in the range of, of possibilities that that is true and not like the second candidate or whatever. Now, what matters right now for DeBoer is playing behind the eight ball, getting caught up with building his coaching staff keeping recruits, keeping players away from transferring and adding new players who potentially transfer as well. This is what your current offensive staff could potentially look like. And current, I mean this upcoming one. Certainly sounds like Ryan Grubb is going to come in as the offensive coordinator for DeBoer at Alabama, which is very noteworthy because that is who Alabama and Nick Saban originally wanted back when they hired Tommy Reese. Grubb was their top target. Huskies able to keep him. Now they get him in a very uh, chaotic turn of events there. Grubb announced he's not going to be the Huskies head coach. He's going to go out of bounds. Uh, Jamark Shepard, Scott Huff, Nick Sheridan, the other uh, potential coaches there. Is no in-line running backs coach right now. That could just be Gillespie returning. Very possible on that front. A lot of these not officially announced, but that's the trend there. Defensively, we'll come back to that as your tease. Also worth noting, Courtney Morgan is joining the staff here for Alabama. You're going, who the heck is that? That was the Huskies general manager. And yes, I do mean GM uh, because the game has changed and GMs are much more common now, at least among, among these smart college football teams, to build the roster with what is very much free agency and recruiting is your draft, right? Here's what Kalen DeBoer has said on the importance of Courtney Morgan and Alabama. Uh, he's just so tied into everyone in the recruiting world, players, staff members. He knows a lot uh, of this roster. There are parents of players on this roster. He's got their numbers, and he's talking with them right now, trying to probably allude to what we're trying to accomplish right now and holding people in place and not getting too antsy, i.e., jumping in the portal and committing one day later because totally wasn't tampering involved there, Isaiah Bond. Now, we still don't know about the defense, and, and this is going to be... Uh, it's not just you, you, you took the head coach and everything else stays the same, right? There's a lot of changes going on right now with this coaching staff. The biggest one is that Coach T-Rob is gone. He is off to Georgia. And we had discussed uh, Coach T-Rob being a, a top defensive coordinator candidate. That was when we thought Nick Saban was still going to be here. T-Rob jumps over to Georgia. He'll be their co-DC. Sounds like Muschamp going to step back a little bit. Glenn Schumann is still there. Could you pull a coup of all time and steal Schumann? I don't know on that front. We'll talk more about the D.C. and defensive coaching staff searches here in the future. T-Rob was also a key recruiting piece. You, you lose your defensive backs coach and the head coach who was oh so critical in terms of coaching and was a defensive backs guy. That is going to be where you're going to feel the loss of Nick Saban, the biggest, uh, beyond the fact of like the generalities. He, from, from, from a minutia standpoint, that's where you might feel the, the biggest impact. So how confident are you in the new Alabama football head coach? Scale it for me from 1 to 10. 1 on the low end, 10 on the high end. It is the pinned comment here on today's video. So if the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. Now, four players have already entered the transfer portal for Alabama. Isaiah Bond hops in, immediately linked to Texas, immediately takes a visit, and is already committed to Texas. Look, this is how this works. Clearly was tampering. Like, there's no way Bond just goes, more goes, oh, well, maybe Texas will take me. Like, he, they knew. And you know what? Honestly, it's fine. That, that, that's how this works. It, it's how it goes. There's a lot of backdoor communication stuff. I mean, Bond's got an agent. That's how it goes. So that, that's a, a fairly notable loss. Two defensive backs in the portal as well. Des Ricks and Antonio Kite, who we'll come back to. And also linebacker Sean Murphy. So I, I will say this. I'm not that surprised or upset, I am disappointed, or mad at them about the defensive backs going in the portal. Make no mistake, I'd like to find a way to keep Ricks, and I hope at minimum he listens to DeBoer in the pitch. You, you can still come back and enter the transfer portal. But uh, how many times have I said it, Chris, like we're talking about recruiting stuff? If I were a defensive back, I'd want to go play for Nick Saban. 
well, Nick Saban's no longer there. So that, that, that is a, a fairly noteworthy negative impact that I, I at least understand that those guys are going to hit the portal fairly quickly. Now, we have Alabama football jerseys for you on sale. Uh, maybe don't get the Isaiah Bond one. Maybe get maybe Justice Haynes one. You can customize the zeros and get the names on there. 30% off up to that deal at chatsports.com slash Alabama jersey. That's chatsports.com slash Alabama jersey. Link will be in the comments section and the description of today's show. You know, you've got the, uh, the customizable ones and also more throwback jerseys. Old, older players who, of course, used to play for Alabama. You can get their jerseys as well. Links in the comments section and the description of today's show. Now, there are already three notable Huskies, with a, a slight asterisk on one of them, that are now in the transfer portal. The first is Jabbar Muhammad, who played a ton of snaps this year, second most of any player for the Huskies uh, in the secondary. And when you see a Huskies player go in the portal, isn't your thir first thought of like, hmm, yes, I could certainly see him entering the portal and heading down to, uh, to uh, Alabama there. Uh, the other is Austin Turner, who missed time earlier this year, was banged up, but did come back and played a lot of snaps against Texas and Michigan. So those two names top of the portal go, yeah, okay, this certainly makes sense about potential Bama fits because you've lost some pieces now in the secondary. Will Rogers also in the portal. And I immediately saw links to, to Rogers of, oh, he's going to Bama because the head coach and OC are going to want him there. They want him to run the offense. And my first thought is, are we sure about that? Milrow was better. So I, I get like, oh, the offense isn't right for Milrow. Like, you know, the Huskies' offense was go balls and, and outside vertical shots. Milrow was good at those. <laughs> and you're like, oh, you know, Rodgers can run, so can Milrow. So I, I'm, not, I'm not sold on that one. We'll come back more in depth here on the Rodgers angle. But defensively, you know, Malachi Moore is back. Uh, I, I will say those guys all announced their intentions before the NFL draft deadline. That's not, that is not yet closed yet by the way. So I, I, I think one of the calls you have to make if you're one of the many, many, many calls of, uh, for Kalen DeBoer is you got to make sure like Malachi Moore does not want to go pro and change his mind now that Saban's gone wants to hop in. You know, we just saw the opposite with, with, with Cam Ward. Cam Ward says I'm going pro. Actually, I'm going to Miami because the NIL bag came through. You got Damani Jackson, you got to make sure he's committed. You have to check with all these guys. Like, you good to go? You good to go? You happy here? We're, we're still going to play the exact same role for you. So there's a lot of internal recruiting that has to be done here first and foremost. If you do lose Kite, if you do lose Des Ricks, I think adding guys like Jabbar Muhammad and Asa Turner certainly makes some sense if you can pull it off. As for Rodgers, I don't – I think he's got to go somewhere else. Uh, I had thought Miami and then they – pulled out the NIL bag for Cam Ward, which I think is a better call for Cam Ward, by the way. Like, Rodgers' numbers in 2020 were better than they were in 2023. That was a different style of offense. That was much more of a short check down quick game offense, air raid style. This past year's numbers were, were not that good. Like, if, if you go side by side, Milrow and Rodgers, of course, by the way, background, Rodgers had transferred from Mississippi State to Washington. He was on the sidelines for the championship game. Uh, and then his quarterback and his head coach in OC, he goes, eh, I don't know about that one there. I, I, I get that the 2021 version was fun. It's, it's, it's not the same anymore. I mean, the offense was different, I know, but I, I am unconvinced Rodgers is an action upgrade over Jalen Milrow. You, you, you have a Heisman contender at quarterback. I'd, I'd, I'd keep that guy. So pick a QB for me. JM for Jalen Milrow, WR for Will Rodgers. I think Rodgers can start somewhere else. That's why I don't think he ends up at Bama and trying to do a quarterback competition thing. Go ahead and vote, though, for me in the comments section. One more recruiting note here. Ryan Williams, who is the lone, un well, I guess he's no longer committed, but was the one unsigned Bama before he decommitted from Alabama. I don't blame him at all for decommitting, by the way. I would have done the exact same thing. Now that Kalen DeBoer has been hired, though, he has, lunked he has liked a bunch of Kalen DeBoer hired tweets. And it, it, the, the, the Bama team has now changed. It's no longer if you're a defensive back, you, you got to go to Bama. It's, hey, if you're a, if you're a, a wide receiver, you might want to go to Alabama now. Roma Dunzier, Jalen Polk, and Jalen McMillan, uh, several of whom transferred into Washington, by the way, a couple of them, I should say, uh, had had great success this past year for the Huskies. is going to be a top 15 pick. Jalen Polk should be top 50. McMillan, I think, should be top 50, maybe more of like a top 60, top 75 pick. 
that's some, you know, Alabama dynasty stuff with the way their wide receivers have performed. So I think there is still a chance Alabama is able to land Ryan Williams. What do you think? Can Bama still pull it off among all the recruiting and, and uh, interviews they have to do? Can Ryan Williams still end up with the Crimson Tide? a and Auburn schools to watch there as well. Y for yes, N for no. Again, folks, make sure you are subscribed. We had previously done our defensive coordinator candidate list based on the theory of Nick Saban staying. I think we have to totally reset uh, that particular DC candidate list. So we will have that as a video, provided a DC is not hired before then. Hit that sub button for, more, for that video and more right here on the channel.